So what's going on tool groupies this is the backwoods mechanic here of the backwoods hippie garage and today i got another tool review for you another unboxing but it's not this particular set of tools you see i picked these up just a few weeks ago and i've done a tool review about them link in the description box below but i could not just live with this set of tools i ended up having to go back and get this set of tools to go with it well because I've got the bigger versions and I wanted to complete it with having the smaller versions and that's what we're going to unbox here today. This is the Cobalt plier set which you can find exclusively at Lowe's Home Improvement Stores. Product number 0464614. Of course Cobalt is a Lowe's item. It's always got its hassle free lifetime guarantee. And this is a five piece set. Now, Cobalt, essentially, was a big name brand for Lowe's. It's been strong for over 20 years now, but now that Craftsman is becoming Lowe's new brand that they're going to be pushing, they're eliminating all the old Cobalt products. Cobalt sockets, ratchets, things like that are gone. They're a thing of the past. They're currently eliminating what impact wrenches they've got, things of that nature, and what hand tools they got. If they got them in Craftsman, they're slowly going to replace all the Cobalt stuff, and they're going to move it out. So that leaves it to be problematic for the lifetime warranty where you're supposed to be able to walk in and out with an exchange regardless as long as you take it back to the store purchase. So in time maybe we'll walk in there with some of these items and see how they're going to exchange it. Are they going to exchange it for Craftsman? Are they going to refer us to go to the website cobalttools.com or call one 3 cobalt ask them to warranty it out that way. Either way, a specific legal liability is apparent whenever the back of the box and all these products says that you can take them back to the store purchase and they guarantee a warranty no questions asked so either way it's got a warranty on it and whether they'll warranty it out for a craftsman or a cobalt item is still yet to be determined but we will find that out in a different video now I am a big fan of craftsman products however they got Craftsman, they got Cobalt, and Cobalt's the only product they got down there in cases where you could buy multiple tools at one time for one price. So basically, if you end up buying these things or you buy the Craftsman, such as a set of pliers like this, it's going to cost you $12 a piece. And if it's a Cobalt item, it's still like $10 a piece. So you're better off, if you can afford to, just going ahead and buying the bulk box because it'll give you a little bit of everything. If you just need a pair of pliers, then it ain't so bad. But... I got a bigger version of that set, and it cost like $43, I think it was. And then I wanted the smaller set to go with it, and this cost me right at $24 and some tax. So let's say $25 bucks for this, which is still good price because this is like $8. This is $10. These are $10. This is $10. You know, these are uh, $6. So it was better off just buying this set for $25, bucks, getting it over with. Now... It tells you some things on the description of the box, like max jaw capacity is 1 and 3 eighths inch. It's got a 5 jaw position, which is talking about the groove joint pliers here. High leverage design wire cutters made from CR-NI, which is durochrome nickel steel plating, which is why you see the different colors here. And then on the back of the box, it tells you that you get 6 inch long nose pliers, which is needle nose pliers. 6 inch diagonal pliers, 6 inch slip joint pliers, 8 inch groove joint pliers, 7 inch linesman pliers. Made from drop forged chrome nickel steel for strength and durability. Ergonomic over mold anti slip grip for maximum comfort which is the handle. High leverage design for increased cutting power. Hardened steel blades stay sharper much longer. And right there is the hassle free guarantee. You should never have a problem with your cobalt tools. However, if you do return the item to the place of purchase for a free replacement, no questions asked. And that does give you legal rights in some states. And, of course, this product is made in China. You can call one 3 cobalt or one 3 or go to www.cobalttools.com for more warranty information. So whenever it comes down to it being made in China, now don't get me wrong, some tools are good, it just depends on the factory that they come out of from China and the quality of the product. If they know that they're going to be making some cobalt items, they'll probably put more effort into it, just like Craftsman. No matter how you slice it, you've got cobalt, you got Craftsman, you got some gear wrench even, you got Pittsburgh Pro, Husky, a lot of the name brands on the market that's fairly priced, fairly good reputation for name brand, comes out of China these days. 
So it's really a question of the quality of the factory, of the, the forging that it comes out of, the way they're sharpened, the way they're put together, all the perks you get, the packaging, how, how many you get in a package, the price for the overall product, the name brand of it, what you prefer. Do you prefer Craftsman, Pittsburgh Pro? So it's just, those are all personal preferences. But whenever it comes down to the overall product, it's going to be you choosing it, and you're going to choose what you like, what fits you, what feels comfortable, you know, otherwise, by American-made, German-made, something like that, you're going to be paying a high end on it. Now, these products are going to be perfectly good for the everyday do-it-yourselfer, the, you know, the basic person going out here doing carpentry work, labor jobs, aircraft work, boating work, all kinds of different trades. You're going to use these products. You're going to have a bunch of different name brands from Milwaukee to DeWalt, Stanley, Proto. Uh, Pittsburgh Pro, Craftsman, Irwin, Channel Lock, Vice Grip. You got all kinds of name brands out here, all kinds of quality. It depends on your field, your particular expert expertise, how often you're doing these jobs, and how much torture these tools are going to be put under. So you're going to want something that is not only a lifetime warranty, but fairly priced, especially if you're starting out as a beginner. You want to be able to use some tools with a lot of quantity to them. Because if you're going out here doing a job and you're buying a whole bunch of stuff from Cornwell and DeWalt and Milwaukee and all that stuff, you're going to be putting out a whole lot of money to go do a whole bunch of these jobs right off the gate. But if you want to start out in a field, regardless of what field that is, you want something that's decent quality tool, decent quality reputation and name, brand, and price, something like Cobalt might be right up your alley and these products will last for a good long period of time. Enough time to where, you know, if you break one thing, you break these needle nose pliers, you tear them up. You know what? That's whenever you can say, I'm going to retire this set and I'm going to go buy me a bigger name brand set, a better set. These are great starter tools for anybody, especially the average everyday homeowner, everyday do-it-yourselfer. This stuff works. I've used it in industrial settings, boat repair settings, carpentry settings, automotive settings, and they work perfectly fine. All I'm doing is switching out some of my older tools to buy some newer tools to switch out into other cases that I've, you know, sorted stuff out of. So let's open this box up and take a look at these. Here is the five pieces that you get in that particular box for $25. First, you have got your six inch long nose pliers, which is everybody calls needle nose pliers. These are six inch long diagonal, or I'm sorry, yeah, diagonal pliers, which is your wire cutters. I get backwards on everybody knows them as wire cutters but they technically call them diagonal cutters just like needle nose pliers now this is of course the set of pliers that everybody's got and you're you rarely use them but whenever you do use them i mean they come in handy but everybody has them and for me anyhow i grab them for multiple different tasks but they're the least used actual pair of pliers i've got but it is your slip joint pliers mainly because well it's a slip joint right there where you can move it up Move it down and widen out whatever it is that you're working on. And then you have got your groove joint pliers right here. And then, of course, your linesman pliers. Now, everybody knows of the bunch that your needle nose pliers are one of the most handy tools on the market that everybody uses just about every kind of industry. Now, these are nice because they got the grips on them, the ergonomic grips, dual material you got the classic cobalt blue and black. These are the lighter blue compared to the old darker blue products. And it's good for working on electrical because it will protect you. It's nice. It's thick. And as you can see, they've got this design on it. It says right here also, the product number made in China, which is product number 464621. And then it has some teeth right there in case you need to grip something, you need to smush something almost a grip of fastener and it is chrome nickel plated as you can see right there chrome nickel now as far as the teeth goes it's got the straight teeth and the sides are sharp you don't get them cheaper versions aren't sharp they come to a fat point on them and then kind of stop so they've actually done pretty good quality with these And where they grinded the actual steel down, there's no imperfections. It's actually fairly accurate on each side. And we'll go to our wire cutters here. Same thing with the handles. They got a nice design on them. 
As you can see, the grinding is different on those, but they are on most because one side's thicker, one side's thinner to help it leverage out for the sharp cutting points on them for the teeth. Once again, it will also give you china. The product number is very, very tiny right there. Can't hardly make the product number out. Then you got your slip joint pliers. 464, 637. And it also, you can cut things, you can crimp things. It's got the teeth so that you can widen them out to technically fit around a fastener to grip something that's nice and round. It's got the little dip right here in the middle also for smaller things. You can widen them out. Make them smaller. Teeth are fairly sharp. And then our groove joint pliers. Now these pliers everybody always uses. Now I prefer the kind, you know, this, that's made for round objects, whether it's uh, shafts and things of that nature, so you can grip it a little bit better. And usually I will go buy a different name brand such as channel lock for uh, anything industrial because these just won't hold up but for general purpose slip joint pliers groove joint pliers these products are perfectly fine product number 464620 you can see the teeth now these like some are a little bit loose in between as you can see they don't quite line up with the grinding there but they do move back and forth a little bit but those are used quite often especially linesman pliers now everybody knows the linesman pliers if you work on any type of serious electrical you want to have a good set of linesman pliers and uh, channel lock has a really good set so does Irwin so does craftsman there's a bunch of different name brands on the market but these cobalt ones are perfectly fine too, and it's also got the teeth right here, so if you need to grip onto something, it's got the cutter right here, got the cutter teeth, and you got the teeth up top here, the grooves in between it, and of course, the china number, but it does not have a part number, now let's test them out. Now number one why I wanted this set because it's a smaller set. Sometimes you'll need a smaller set depending on what it is you're working on. Automotives, industrial, carpentry. Which is why I wanted the big set and the small set. So here's the set I got in the one package that's in the video in the link in the description box below. You can see the difference in it. It's a lot longer for different applications. A big and a small version so I've got two and then of course for the side cutters the wire cutters I've got the big version and I needed the small version as you can see side by side I wanted to complete my sets for whatever task it is that I am working on just like with the needle nose pliers the long nose pliers I got the big and now I got the small version and then of course with the slip joints I wanted to have the big and the small versions and then for these I've got which this set is for 20 bucks you can get three of these for $20 at Lowe's right now and you can't beat that but I bought the bigger set and it come with one of these I bought a set of these by themselves for 20 bucks and then I got these small set here that come with another set. You can always use plenty of pliers. So if you look at what I paid for those, I got a $20 set of adjustable wrenches, a $20 set of groove joint pliers, and I also got the $43 set of these and the $24 set of these. So for a little over $100, bucks, you can actually stock up on quite a bit of tools that you would need for quite a bit of jobs right here. And I've also got the set of screwdrivers to go with it. So without further ado, let's see how these things will cut a nice thick wire. Here's a benefit of the slip joint pliers. If you need to hold on to a fastener, as you can see, it's in between the teeth on it. And it will hold it firmly as you are doing some work. 
and if you need to hold a wire in place of course that's what the grooves are meant for in the slip joint pliers also so you can hold them nice and tight while you're working on something of course the needle nose pliers are for getting inside of tight places working on things or you can also use them to help cut and it cuts everything really nice and smooth just like your side cutters here your wire cutters will cut everything nice and smooth no problem at all and then of course you got your linesman pliers which will cut and it will help crimp if you need to smush something down crimp it smash it twist it if you need a wire twisted to fit it inside of something fit it inside of a wire nut an eye then you take it and you twist it and you turn it you could be holding it with your slip joint pliers twisting it with your linesman pliers cutting it off and of course the linesman pliers you you just set the uh, bolt down inside of it fastener down inside of it and it'll hold it because of the teeth right there and it will hold it in place so you can feed it up in places or it will hold it so you can tighten something up as you can see the teeth have points to match it up to hold it nice and firm and then of course they will cut completely through the insulation the rubber no problem at all and this is one of your dryer pigtail boards right there so it's pretty thick metal and it snapped through it no problem at all so to check out everything that I have showed you in this video, including all these other tools from Cobalt, all the tool reviews will be in different videos and a link in the description box below, along with links to where you can buy these products at your local Lowe's or online. Those will be posted below also. If you want to see more tool reviews, do-it-yourself videos, a wide variety of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm not paid for any of this. I just like doing this kind of stuff. I usually earn my own money. I go buy my own tools. I'm not paid, endorsed, or given tools by anybody to review. It's my own opinion. If this stuff fails in the future, believe me, I'll tell you about it. So if you've got any comments or questions, just ask me. Until next time, subscribe.